chicken like shit. I noticed that before and chicken are enjoying the shit a lot. They find things to eat there and they, well, just like it. So these mothers, their two mothers and four children, are showing their children how to be with shit. But that's not what I'm going to talk about. I want to talk about castration. I'm standing here next to Kabul, who is now drinking water and who's looking a little bit silly. And I want to show you what little Tibor has done, if I can get... This is one of the bites that little Tibor causes. And that was the main reason for me to say, come on, it's over, uh, Tibor has to be castrated, so this aggressive behavior will get less. Kabul, though, is also castrated. And I'm going to do a close, trying to do a close up a little bit. And you can see that, that he doesn't look castrated, though he is. But he is castrated from, a, from the inside. Why was I too late with his castration? What went wrong? I want to explain it because I think it's very useful information for horse people, for people who are doubting about the castration. First of all, it depends on how you keep your horses. If you keep your horses in the field, um, if it's possible, like, like here, eh, we have quite some field and so horses are able to walk outside. Most of us want the horses to be together. You don't like it when horses are separated, though with stallions you have to be very careful. One of the things you have to look at very closely is the character. And now Kabul is standing with his head down, but Kabul has quite a character. He's quite a personality. He was mature. He was 11 years when he came with us. And, well, you could see immediately that he was a strong horse inside. But he also is, well, stupid is not the right word, but he's not a very smart horse. So he has these two handicaps, depending on how, yeah, again, how you keep your horses. The chicken behind me are making a lot of noise. He has two handicaps. He is a fighter. It's, it's what I call fighter. Uh, he fights over things, but he's also a stallion. And so you have two bad combinations for horses to be in the field. One is that they will fight with other horses if there is a reason for them to compete. And the second one is that he's a stallion, so he has this testosterone going in his blood and well it can be in riding if you want to do show riding for instance it can be an extra but it also can work against the horse and I think you should always um, be aware of what your cho every <coughs> well <laughs> every choice you make you should make in the benefit for horses so let me tell you the story of Kabul uh, when he came to us it was February it was very cold and I let him, uh, I introduced him to the grey horse that was with, with us. Now some people might get upset. It was, it's like all Andalusian white Andalusians, uh, PREs are born, white, uh, born black or dark brown and they become grey. So I'm not talking about the grey horse where people seem to get upset about. Anyway, I let them outside together and it seemed to go all right. Well, he's quite, uh, <laughs> we will not say that he's uh, a fighting horse. Anyway, I let them out together and it seemed to go all right, except that the grey horse was defending uh, little Tibor a lot. And he, was, he had a point there because this Kabul only wanted to have sex with the little pony. Don't come too close, please, because then I cannot make a video of your face in him. Kabul only wanted sex. And that proved to me that horses don't see these very small guys um, as a horse too. They see these small guys as there is something horse in it, but I want to have sex with him. And that's the testosterone that causes it. Uh, normally geldings, when they are gelded, don't uh, have sex anymore. Anyway, so I was playing with fire. And it was interesting to see, and it was of course an observation, um, but it was also dangerous. Hello, now he's looking at me. Are you looking at the camera? Don't come so close, please. <laughs> and if he, do if he does, don't touch my camera. 
he doesn't know anything about filming. Um, and it's better I'm not to. I have to, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to put him away. Come on. Well, that didn't work out fine. He's now standing even closer <laughs> than he did. Get out. Are. Good. Screwing up my, my, my beautiful video. Um, am I talking mean to him? <laughs> when I let these two horses in the, in the field outside, they were running once uh, on the big field. They were running and I could see a split second that this Kabul horse, the one who is screwing up my video right now, get out, discovered that he was faster. And that was a moment that I knew that there would be consequences to that. Come on, I'm gonna... Oh, poor horse, she's doing mean to this horse. I knew there was going to have consequences. It wasn't a good lesson. And it got even worse because my idea was to launch two horses together in the, in the sand place, and I did. And that was the worst mistake I made. Because instead of these two horses walking around me, Kabul, within a split second, attacked the gray horse. And from that moment on, they couldn't be together anymore. You heard him on the back, where exactly the place where the saddle is. Oh, poor Kabul. He's wondering why he can't do what he wants. But I couldn't put them together anymore. And it got even worse because Kabul thought in his instinct that he now was the owner of this little pony, of this little Tibor. Until today, I cannot don't screw it up again. I cannot put them together. I couldn't... Come on, Ale. I have to move him a little bit with uh, my, my hand and he will be a little bit annoyed. He's doing nothing, so he's looking for something to do now. I was too late with the castration. I should have done it before. I should have done it earlier. And I should have realized that if I wanted these horses to be together, that it would not work with a guy like this. The other one was possible, but this one not, because he's not so smart and he's very male. He showed very much male behavior. And when a horse shows you very much male behavior, you should be aware that the best thing you do, unless you want, of course, uh, the show horse or whatever, or you have the opportunity to put the horses uh, in different places, then you can leave them stallion. So it's a mistake I made and it's a very stupid mistake because I was too late and it wasn't possible for Kapoor to get back into the, the social behavior he had shown but from that moment on was not possible anymore. <laughs>